But the Bible says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Belshazzar, watch out. Judgment is coming. You're going too far. There's a point beyond which the patience of God will not go. There's a line drawn among nations and among individuals and in families and in communities. Job said, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Keep on plowing your iniquity. Keep on sowing your wickedness. You're going to someday reap it. Hosea said, for they have sown to the wind and they shall reap a whirlwind. Jeremiah said, they've sown wheat, but they shall reap thorns. And so in the middle of this banquet, Belshazzar's dancing with a beautiful, sexy young girl. And all of a sudden, everyone is quiet. You can hear a pin drop. His face turns white. The Bible says he begins to tremble. Because over on the wall, an armless hand starts writing. And everyone sat there trembling wondering what this was, what strange thing this was. And Belshazzar tried to read it. He couldn't read the message. So he said, let's call the astrologers and the soothsayers and the Chaldeans. Let's call the magicians. Let's call all the people that can read this type of thing. And they came in. And that's where we're turning today. We're turning to the occult. We're turning to the astrologers. Oh, please tell us what the future is going to hold.